It's baseline. Hey, some thoughts on a Monday uh, in April. Two things that um, kind of get my goat. Good morning. Um, jogging and car sharing. Here in San Francisco, uh, they had some pink mustaches they put on the front of the cars and they would use ride sharing, which is a good idea. It's a green idea. But in essence, really what it says is that we have a lot of additionally lonely people in the world. Uh, when I was growing up, like most of you, uh, our car was a place to be by ourselves or with our girlfriend, you know, and crank some music, drive, get away. And now there seems to be this gravity, uh, which in San Francisco, a bellwether environment for you know, human behavior, it seems okay to jump in the car with strangers because you've got an app that says, yeah, I'll be here and I'll be going here. Again, it's green, it sounds wonderful, it's hard to knock. It's unusual and strange, particularly since the people that would utilize it to go to the airport, they'd have it on an expensive port anyway. They'd have it on a credit card, so the cost would not matter. And then jogging really freaks me out. These are just two loose thoughts. Um, I have a girlfriend who's a runner. And now the popularity of jogging has happened and taken place because, again, of apps, of personal apps and the locomotion of, you know, the reduction of applications, you know, and hardware into the type of device that I'm holding right now in my hand. So we can turn running into a video game. Uh, before that, before it clocked this, before it moved this, this, before we had, you know, the, uh, the mapping and, uh, and the ability to compete with ourselves and improve ourselves with it, with the computer, uh, we weren't that interested in jogging. It was Jim Fix and running around and, hey, man, he died of a heart attack anyways, and that didn't help. But now it's real popular, so it makes you wonder, so since we've turned it into a game and the popularity of running is based on, again, the gamanization of the sport, then why all that additional energy? Where's that all coming from? Couldn't we harness our energy and our additional energy in a different way? What does it say about the jobs that we do, the lives that we lead, when we are given a way to do something, it's just like blow steam off, the body's ready to go. Now in the American Homeless Companion, it talks about this, and it talks about the duplicity between the body and the mind and how that is affected in status and how it changes in baseline. So two thoughts, why are we running? What's the matter? Do we have something better to do? Why are we, why all the idle energy on a Monday and here comes a kid, this is baseline. Man, that is the best seat in the house, you know that? Peace